Hello everyone, I'm George from Ireland. So I'm on Clapham Common in London. This part of the building behind me, the scaffolding, is where Edvard Grieg stayed during his uh, sojourn in London. So Grieg was born in Bergen, Norway in 1843. Um, his uh, great-grandfather uh, was British and moved to Norway in the late 18th century. So um, Grieg grew up fairly well off. His father was a successful merchant and Grieg showed early promise as a musician violinist and a pianist in particular, had a special musical education, and later went to study, study a conservatory in Leipzig, Germany. So Norway was not a wealthy country at all at the time, because it wasn't for, suitable for farming. A lot of people were fishermen or uh, sailors. They had a large merchant uh, uh, navy. It was only in the 1970s when they struck oil that Norway became one of the wealthiest countries in the world. And was seen very much as something on the edge of Europe. So, but Bergen was at least the second biggest uh, city in uh, Norway. So um, Grieg then made his name um, as a composer. He taught music a little bit. I, I know very little about music, so I shan't comment about his music a great deal. Uh, the only thing pieces I know that that one morning by him, and I shall attempt to do it now. Forgive me if I butcher it. <laughs> that one, it like conjures up images of a flower filled alpine valley on, on a summer dawn. Um, and the Hall of the Mountain King, that's another famous people, piece by him, he composed some music for um, some of Hendrik Ibsen's plays. I Ibsen being this um, celebrated Norwegian um, playwright of the, of the late 19th century. So um, Grieg, he um, sported this rather interesting um, uh, handlebar moustache. It was de rigueur at the time. So he travelled extensively, he was in demand in other countries, visited France many times. Um, uh, he um, wasn't a very political person, but he took a firm stand against anti-Semitism. He was horrified in 1899 about the Dreyfus affair, about um, Alfred Dreyfus, this um, French army, army officer, who was wrongfully convicted of um, espionage on behalf of Germany. Um, so it was actually Esther Hasey who, who did it. And uh, there was a large element of anti-Semitism in the conviction of, 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 of Dreyfus. Dreyfus, he came from Alsace-Lorraine, which had joined France not so long before. Got a Germanic surname, which added the suspicion. Dreyfus, as in Dreyfus, as in three feet. I'm not sure why people got the surname three feet. And had been to be the exile to Devil's Island on the coast of French Guyana. Um, it's a narrowly avoided execution. Anyway, completely exonerated, reinstated later on. But it, it um, was something which bifurcated French society for a decade easily. But back to um, Edvard Grieg, he came to this country, he stayed here in the 1890s for some time and he went to perform for um, Queen Victoria. So Grieg was married, I presume he had children, um, and uh, he died about 1907. So there are many buildings associated in Norway that, that he lived in that you can still go and see. So uh, places in the United States, they did it on, is honoured by the Norwegian community. Um, really that's all I can tell you about, about him. So what a lovely view of Clapham Common he had here directly opposite that building he stayed in. I'm not sure if it's a hotel or not, but uh, many distinguished writers and architects and politicians lived in Clapham Common, particularly on the north side of Clapham Common. But uh, if you come here late at night, you might see red lights flashing out in the middle of Clapham Common. So if you want an intimate encounter, especially of a Ganymede kind, this is the place to be. I'm not here at night, by the way. Okay, toodaloo.